If you were also disappointed when you installed the all new shiny iOS 18 beta only to find the old Siri on your phone, you're in luck because a method has been found to enable the new Siri UI across iOS, iPadOS and macOS Sequoia. And today, I'm showing you how. You've probably seen screen recordings of people doing this all over Twitter and you've probably gotten equally as frustrated when no one has showed you how to do it. So now I'm showing you. This is gonna be a real quick video, so let's get into it. Just to be clear, this doesn't give you access to any of the actual Apple intelligence features. It only gives you the new UI and animation along with the double tap for typing to Siri. I'm also not 100% sure if this works on devices not supported by Apple intelligence. The only devices I have tested this on, which is an iPhone 15 Pro, an M2 MacBook Air and an M2 iPad Pro, they're all going to get official support for Apple intelligence when it launches later in the year. As far as I can tell from users on Twitter, it should work on all the devices, but your mileage may vary. I'm also not responsible if you break something, have your backups ready to go and be prepared that you might need to restore from one. I'll start with macOS because it is dead simple. First, make sure you're running macOS Sequoia, then open up your terminal and type in the following commands, which I'll link in the description. Defaults write com.apple.assistance bypass device supports SAE dash B O O L bool true and kill all Siri. Then just open Siri and that's it. You'll see the new UI. If you want the new Siri icon in your status bar, just restart your Mac and that's it. Mac OS is actually gives you some level of control, so it's pretty easy. iOS and iPadOS are slightly more complicated. It's basically the same process behind the scenes, but because you know you can't just open up a terminal on your iPhone, there's a bit of tinkering we've got to do. You'll be doing this through Cowabunga Lite, which is a really funny name for a really great utility. This method is courtesy of at Lemon Limes on Twitter, who is a developer for Cowabunga Lite. It's very similar to a jailbreak, but it's also not even close. First up, you'll need to do some preparation on your iOS device. Start off by making sure you're on iOS 18. Then you'll need to disable Find My iPhone. If you have stolen device protection turned on, you'll need to disable that as well in order to disable Find My iPhone. Don't worry, you can turn both of these back on once the install is finished. You can also keep your passcode enabled as well. If your device is part of an MDM and has backup encryption enabled, you won't be able to run this either. Okay, real quick interjection here. Uh, this process does work on Windows. Um, however, I'm having some issues getting my iPhone to connect to my computer, not related to Cowabunga Lite at all. So I'm just going to leave a link in the description to the official instructions for Windows. I'm really sorry I couldn't get that out in this video, but I'm pretty strapped for time making this one, so I don't have the time to debug it. Also, I'm testing this new background thing and it is like really good at isolation, but anyway, sorry about that. Uh, Mac users, you're good. On Mac, you'll need to download this custom operation file. It'll be linked in the description. Then open Cowabunga Lite and connect your device. You'll need to bypass Gatekeeper to get this running as the app is unsigned. On Mac OS Sequoia, it's no longer as easy as right clicking the file in Finder and clicking open. You now need to head into the privacy settings and click open anyway. Then connect your device to your system and unlock it. Make sure it's selected in Cowabunga, click on custom operations in the sidebar, then select import.calperation. Select the file you downloaded from the description, then click edit and make sure it's enabled. If you have any device profiles installed, things like enterprise or school profiles, click on setup options and uncheck modify. Otherwise, click on apply, then click apply tweaks. Your device will reboot. If you've left setup options enabled, you'll need to go through a short part of the iOS setup. If you turned off setup options, you'll be taken through more of the iOS setup. I haven't personally needed to do that, but if you have, make sure you click don't restore from backup when asked. Otherwise that could just reset your device. Select your language and go through the standard motion right up until this screen. Do not click the big blue button on this screen. You'll need to make sure you select continue with partial setup. Clicking the big blue button would reset your iPhone straight back to factory settings. If you've got an iPhone 15 Pro, you'll need to reconfigure your action button and you'll need to rehide or relock any apps you've set to require face ID or be hidden. But other than that, you'll be exactly where you were before you started this process, with the only thing different being your brand new Siri animation. You'll notice this prompt telling you that you're using an internal feature for the first time you use Siri, but that can safely be ignored. If you had to disable Find My iPhone and stolen device protection, you can turn those back on now without any issues, provided the Siri animation works correctly. If the Siri animation isn't working correctly, you might need to go back, make sure everything's enabled, and then run the program again. And that's it. Now you've got a brand new shiny Siri UI enabled on your Mac and iOS devices. In terms of updating, with this tweak enabled, I'll keep an eye out for you on uh, Twitter and around that. 
uh, at Lemon Lines on Twitter, should be able to give you information on that. And you can also follow me on Instagram and threads to find out more information. Or you can follow all of those with the links on screen and in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that button. And if you really like this video, maybe even subscribe. I'll be covering the Australian Apple Vision Pro launch when that happens in July. So get subscribed for that one because it's going to be a lot of fun. If you want more Hades, you can click over here to check out my review of all of the betas released at WWDC. Or you can click over here to check out whatever my recent upload is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.